In this video, we're going to go through how you set up your own custom forms inside PT Distinction. Now, for custom forms, because they're very standard, I would go through the templates system, and then it's very, very quick and easy to share it with all of your clients with no problems at all. So to start with, come up and click on templates and then forms and questionnaires. From here, just click on add a form and then choose custom form. Give it a title and save. Then select yes when it asks if you would like to edit to the form you just created. Inside the form builder, it lets you know that a signature box is automatically added to each custom form. So when your clients fill in the form, they can sign it online as well. And you've got these options here. So all the options you've got in any quality form builder, such as Google Forms. First of all, we've got a header. So this is where you would put your form title. And to edit anything, you just click on the little edit button here. You can add an extra header if you wish to by clicking on the add, and you can get rid of it by clicking on the remove. So we just edit this one, give it a title, and then close. So you've got your title there. The next thing is a paragraph, and this allows you to write a paragraph. So this might be where you introduce your form or just make a statement that you want clients to see. Again, the same options appear. So you can edit, you can add another paragraph, or you can remove this one. So we'll edit. And in this, I'll just write a little introduction to the form. And when you're finished, close it down. The next thing I might add to my form would be a date field. So a date field just lets your client select the date that they are filling out the form. So I would go down here and date field, and I would edit that. And rather than call it date field, I would just call it date. The required tick box means you can make it required that clients actually fill this in or not. So if you leave it unticked, they don't have to fill it in, but they can if they want to. If you tick it, clients will have to fill that in before saving the form. When you're happy, close it. Going further down, a text field allows you to write a question and your clients can write the answer. Now the text field is quite a small space for clients to write. So if you want to limit the space your clients can write, text field is the way forward. So this one, you might write a simple question and make it required if you wish to. So I've just written, what is your name? And a client can click on that and write their name. Text area is very, very similar, but it gives your client a lot more space to write. So they can write as much as they like and they can continue writing if they wish to. So anything with a long answer, write it in a text area. A checkbox allows you to set up a tick option. So checkbox is just for one option. Again, same buttons, you can edit it here. And again, you can make it required if you like. And close when you're happy. So I've just got, are you over 18? And they can tick it or not. A checkbox group allows you to have options. So checkbox group, clients will be able to select as many of the options as they wish to. So you could ask a different question. For example, which activities do you like? And you could give them options to tick or not. If you want to give more options, you can just come down here and add an option and add as many as you like. Close that down and you'll see that your clients can tick as many of the boxes as they wish to, or as few as they wish to. The next option we've got is a number. So if you want a number from your clients, this is the option to choose. You can edit it. In this one, I might say, how many days can you train per week? Again, I'll make this required and you can set a minimum and maximum number if you wish to with this one. So on this particular question, you would probably be between zero and seven because there's seven days in a week and you can select the step. So what options they have and that would be for me one. So you close that down and with these settings, your clients will be able to select the number of days they can train per week up to a total of seven. 
Next option we've got is a radio group. Now a radio group is much like a checkbox group, except your client can only choose one option. So when they choose one, it takes away from the others. Setup is very, very similar. You do exactly the same thing, but obviously a checkbox group, clients can choose multiple options. A radio group, they can just choose the one. The final option is select, which is very similar in its usability to a radio group, but it just looks slightly different. Select has a drop down menu where clients can choose the option they want. Again, they can choose one option and the setup is exactly the same. You can put in a placeholder. Placeholder is what shows before someone has chosen their favorite option. So I've just put in choose one and you can write out your various options. Again, you can add options by clicking on add options and when you're happy, just click close. And this is what your clients get, which is your favorite. And then there's your placeholder. When they click on it, they can choose the option that is their favorite. So that's all the tools you've got in the custom form builder. And with this, you can build very complete custom forms for your clients. When you finish building it, click on save. And then you can go back into your templates to use it. So back in templates to use it, find your form and then copy to clients or group and you can copy it straight to one of your clients or groups. The other alternative is to use it from inside the client or group dashboard. So I'll quickly do that for one of my clients. So go into the client's dashboard. Click on the green add button, select formal questionnaire, custom form, and then take from your template. So you can choose from your template, give it a title, and then save. Gives you the chance to edit it specifically for that client, or you can just leave it as it was in your template. So for now, I'll leave it as it was in the template. And then it also gives you the chance to schedule the form. So you can schedule the form for your clients, or you can just leave it. So now you have your custom form that is in your templates, which you can use anytime for any client or any group, and you have it in your client's dashboard ready for them to use. Any forms that your clients have, they can fill in online, and they can also sign it online and save. Once it's signed and saved, your client won't be able to edit the form.